Oh, wow. Gosh, this is quite a place, isn't it? Oh, look, it's all marquetry. It's like scenes from your holidays, look. Florence, Venice. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ruth Goodman. This is my daughter Eve. Hello. And we're here at Elton Palace in order to have a look at some 1930s women's clothes. It's a really interesting moment when clothes change utterly and become much easier to wear and cheaper to buy. Ready to wear, off the peg, is in the shops for the very first time. It's also the point when synthetic fabrics are suddenly becoming such a huge thing. So suddenly people can go out and buy something that looks and feels like silk, but it's not. It's so much cheaper because it's completely synthetic and that's really exciting. Oh, this is a very elegant bedroom, don't you think? Yeah, it's <laughs> useful, isn't it? <laughs> Great place to look at clothes. Okay, so should we move on to clothes? Go for the clothes. Okay, I go first? Yep, yep, you yes. go first. Okay, so this is Suzy. And she's in our gorgeous evening wear. Okay, ready? Oh, this is elegant, isn't it? She looks great, doesn't she? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. It's just harking back to the whole classicist movement, you know, that's Greek, so very Greek, Greek column-like. Column -like. She's just absolutely wonderful with a beautiful bias cut with a reverse uh, patterning to, to sort of To get that it. movement. Yeah, and just so that it that flows and hugs exactly, the body. Exactly, and sort of flow of the female form and the fact that it is sort of long and elegant mm. and... I'm thinking of the word statuesque yeah. because I do sort of yeah. feel quite statuesque. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, give us a twirl, Susan, go on, give us a twirl. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the back. It's almost like a little train, but as you are moving, that it just really flicks out and you see. Gives you this nice shape, you know? So, this is what we all aspire to on our evening out. Yes, <laughs> if I could look like that every night out, I definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this home. Actually. Yeah, wear it always. <laughs> Thank you. Nice and warm, give us a twirl, Sonia, go on. Nice and warm in your hat and coat. Yeah, and would you mind taking the coat off? Right, would, you, would that be acceptable? Let's have a look, let's see what you... Oh, wow! That looks great! <laughs> let me help, let me help. That's Thank amazing. You. Wow, look at that! <laughs> knitwear, it's amazing. all about the knitwear. You see, at no other time in history had knitwear ever been considered high fashion. Mm. It's always been underwear, socks, woolly vests, mm. you know, it had always been very practical and largely yeah. hidden. 20s and 30s, knitwear is king. And one of the most exciting things about knitwear was that you could produce it yourself at home and it becomes the greatest new leisure activity mm. of the 20s and 30s was to do your own knitting. Mm. Knitting patterns were selling in their thousands. In fact, if you had a women's magazine, you could not sell the magazine if it didn't have good knitting patterns. And it was being done not by the old grannies, but by the youngsters, the people who wanted fashion. You know, the 19, 20 year olds, they're the ones knitting. And they're nice simple shapes that will drape elegantly. And weren't earlier periods in history missing a trick in not using knitwear as an yeah. outer exactly. garment? It's so versatile. It's warm in comparison to a lot of other materials and it just it's just wonderful. Time for Vanessa! This is exciting! <laughs> Hi! Hello. Come on in, let's have a little look at you. Oh, it looks great, doesn't nice, it? Isn't it? Really nice. So this is a really practical garment. And the 1920s and 30s are a moment, particularly in the 30s, when people are needing to do their housework. Perhaps more people are needing to do their housework mm. than they've ever done before because it was getting harder and harder and harder to get servants. But they didn't want to look like a servant. No, no, you mustn't look like a servant. No, as a housewife, being a housewife is a good, respectable, good thing to be. Exactly. Being a servant, less so. So it's, it's deliberately a practical garment for mm. doing housework in that does not look like a servant's uniform. Exactly. But it was important to people. People felt very strongly that they were trying to put an image out of mm. being a lady of leisure. Everybody knew, really, that you and your neighbours were all doing the washing up and scrubbing the floors and dealing with everything in the morning. But come an afternoon, you could like pretend. Everybody wanted to look <laughs> like a Margot. That's they what it is. They all, all wanted to sort of like just buy into a little bit of that lady of leisure thing. And, and a house coat lets you do that. Mm. You put it on, work, whip it off. Oh, I look immaculate again. <laughs> Thank you.
Great clothes. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Can we stay? No, they'll lock us in, they're oh, lock us in. Oh, you're so cruel <laughs> to me. Never